Hey guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So as some of you may already know, this man, STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, will be getting his very own Extreme Z Awakening in the near future, starting on JP first and then eventually on Global as well. So in this video, I just want to quickly go over all the details we currently have about it. So why don't we just jump right into it, starting with number one, his stats. And at rainbow status and fully Extreme Z Awakened, he will have 16,171 HP, 15,942 attack, and 9,818 defense. So in my opinion, those stats are actually very impressive, especially considering that he is not a Dokkan Fest exclusive unit. So I'm actually very happy with those numbers. Number two, he will take AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku's EZA medals to awaken. Essentially, to Extreme Z awaken the STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you will have to run the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Extreme Z battle event collect the medals from there, and then use those to Extreme Z Awaken the STR variants as well. So in total, you'll need 12 bronze medals, 20 silver medals, 12 gold medals, and 12 rainbow medals. Now I know the question on a lot of people's minds at this point, and I know I've been thinking about it ever since I heard about this is, are they going to reset the AGL SSJ3 Goku's Extreme Z battle event? And it would kind of make sense, you know, considering that we have a new unit that now needs those medals. So maybe they can reset the whole event so we can re-clear levels one to 30, collect those 30 Dragon Stones, those orbs, and all those good things. It would be freaking awesome. I don't necessarily know if Bandai is that generous. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but it would be freaking sweet if they did. All right, number three, the passive and there are a few parts to it so stick with me i promise it will all make sense by the end of it i'm gonna read the passive as the literal translation and then do a breakdown at the end that makes it a little bit easier to understand so his passive goes like this initially he will get 40 percent defense and then when his hp is above 30 percent he will get attack up 80 percent when HP is above 50%, he will get attack up 30%, and when HP is above 80%, he will get attack up 30%. So one thing to keep in mind is that these attack buffs are not isolated, they are cumulative. So if you pass the final threshold of 80% HP, you can actually get all three attack buffs at once. So it really all boils down to this. When HP is at or above 30% but below 50%, he will have a total buff of 80% attack and 40% defense. When HP is at or above 50% but below 80%, he will have a total attack buff of 110% and 40% defense. And when HP is at or above 80%, he will have a total buff of 140% attack and 40% defense. So once you're over that 80% threshold, this guy will be an absolute monster. He will get a total attack buff 140%. He will hit very hard, especially considering how high that attack stat is. And uh, this guy's just gonna be really, really good. The one thing that will hold back his damage output a little bit, and the thing that I can see a lot of people complaining about potentially is the fact that he has a supreme damage multiplier as opposed to an immense damage multiplier, which would have been really, really good because it would have taken him to a whole other level. But at the same time, I'm not surprised by this because he is a non Dokkan Fest unit and most non Dokkan Fest units, or maybe all of them, have gotten supreme damage multipliers even after Extreme Z Awakening. It's just the way it goes, so there's no surprise there. And this guy, you know what, even though he doesn't have immense damage, he will still hit very hard considering that high attack stat. And he's just going to be a really, really good unit overall. So I have no complaints. I'm very happy about all this information. And that's all the info we currently have about him for now. If anything else comes out, you can rest assured that I'll make another video to keep you guys up to date. But that's it for now. Hope you guys found the video useful. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it from me, guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.